Now, I'm pretty sure it's pointless for me to say why exactly I'm not going to be keeping this figure, but I'm also going to discuss why it is, in fact, still a good figure. What the heck is up you guys, Animated Heroes here back with another action figure review and as you guys can see today we're going to be taking a look at the Dragon Ball Super Dragon Star Series Mystic Gohan. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. Now as usual we're going to start off with that sexy packaging as you guys can see it says Dragon Ball Super right there. It's the window packaging with Gohan inside Dragon Star Series right there. Mystic Gohan which is a surprise because in the promo images it actually shows him without the bang. So I was thinking this was supposed to just be regular Gohan but you got a cool image of him on the side right here. Dragon Ball Super up there. Nothing much going on on that side. At the bottom you got Dragon Ball Super and of course on the back you got the rest of the figures in the wave. The builder figure Kale and then if you guys look up here like I said, you can see Gohan does not have the bang. So I don't know if this was something that they decided to change at the last minute or what. But um, of course, you got Goku right there and Freezer right there and all the stuff at the bottom that does not matter. So sexy packaging, nothing new. Same thing we've been getting with the Dragon Star figures. But that does not matter. Let's go ahead and cut this guy out of the package because I'm ready to see how this figure turns out. Now, straight out of the packaging, as I always say, this guy is not a bad figure as of right now it's pretty much the same thing as vegeto in my opinion if you have vegeto you already know what to expect from this guy and i know a lot of people don't like these guys for articulation reasons and sometimes the facial scopes but how i look at it for 19 dollars the faces on these guys are pretty decent. I mean, they're not the best, of course, and the hair is not as spiky as it's supposed to be. But I mean, a lot of these figures, if you look on the package, you'll see that it says for ages four and up. So they don't want kids getting these and poking themselves with sharp hair. So that makes sense to me. But for the most part, the figure is pretty clean. The paintwork is nice. The accessories eh, can do use a little work. But once again, $19 figure. And I honestly think that with the more they release, the better this line is getting. I'm I'm not trying to get into these figures. I just collect these for the purpose of reviewing. And some of them are pretty cool, which I will keep. Jiren is definitely one of those. But for the most part, I'm not all that interested in this line. But that being said, let's go ahead and put this guy back and see how tall he stands. Now, pardon if you hear that noise in the background, that is the man who mows my lawn, and he is being really rude and disrespectful, interrupting my review, but hey, he's doing his job, so I can't blame him for that. Anyway, Gohan stands to the top of his hair a little bit over six inches, so he's definitely a tall figure, and to the top of his head, he's about five and a half, so... Of course, he is in six in scale. If you decide to get this guy because you don't want to get the SH Fig Yards, for the most part, he will fit in scale. And of course, I will show a little bit more about that later when I get into some size comparisons. Now, let's check out the articulation. Now, for articulation, his head looks up only about that much, which is nothing at all. Of course, it looks down only about that much, which really isn't much at all either. He does have tilt. That works pretty well. And it does look really good from certain angles. Now, the neck, it looks like it's on a ball peg. And as you guys can see, you can't really move it around much at all. So you're not going to get anything out of that. Now, as for the sleeves, I believe these are just a separate piece and they work well, actually, because you can still move the arm around however you want to and get it at just about whatever angle you plan on getting it. I wish the SH Figuarts line would adapt this method. Therefore, we don't have to worry about piecing these on and off every single time we move the arm. But for the most part, it does work well. It goes out about that far. He does have a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. His hands are on a ball peg. And of course, if if you guys don't know these ball pegs do fit most sh figure arts figures so if you do have a goku or something you can put some of his hands on here if you want a little bit more variety now he does lean back only about that much forward that much of course he does have a turn at the waist foot goes out about that much but it does kind of curve the further you kick it out and that's only because of this piece right here it does have a swivel built in there so you can twist it just a little bit and that's only to make it go out a little bit more so it kind of looks ugly the more you do that so i'm probably not even going to use it much now for the knees it's where things get ugly oh man mm -mm. i believe that's a single jointed knee but or maybe it is double jointed. i don't know but it's one of them it just looks ugly though 
that bending the knees on these guys is terrible. So, yeah, just in case you guys don't know that, it looks like he has a swivel right there, but there is no swivel. You can't turn that at all. Foot goes down only about that much, up about that much. You get no ankle pivot whatsoever. I mean, just a little bit, but I'm counting that as no ankle pivot. So, for the most part, articulation is decent i would say it's definitely lacking in a few areas and some of the joints are ugly but once again 19 dollar figure now just like all dragon stars figures he does come with a lot of accessories first off he comes with a pair of fist hands which are very needed for dragon ball z figures he does come with the bang as you guys can see right there to make him mystic gohan but unfortunately you can't take it off he does come with a pair of Kamehameha hands, no open palm hands, unfortunately. And last but not least, the most important piece, the build a figure KO piece. And this is probably what I'm looking forward to the most. I'm so ready to build this figure, but I'm trying to hold out. Now, as far as accessories, that is all you get. I know a lot, right? I just, I really wish they would add at least one more set of hands to these guys, but $19 figure. So got to keep that in mind. Size comparisons. First up here, he is standing next to the SH Figure Arts Ultimate Gohan on the Super Saiyan 3 Goku 2.0 body and the SH Figure Arts Cell Saga Kid Gohan Battle Damage figure. Next up here, he is standing next to the SH Figure Arts 2.0 Custom Trunks I got put on the Time Patroller body and of course the Super Warrior Awakening SH Figure Arts Battle Damage Goku. Lastly, here he is standing next to the Marvel Legends Bullseye and of course the Dragon Star Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. Now overall, this figure is pretty meh for me. It's okay. It's of course passable. It's definitely passable. And I know saying that it's meh is probably a lot coming from me considering the fact that Gohan is my favorite Dragon Ball Z character, but that's just how I look at this figure. And honestly, it's because I have the SH figure arts and I'm constantly trying to tell myself, don't look at it from that point of view. Look at it from the price point of the figure. Of course, SH figure arts are going to be more high quality because you're paying more for them. But this guy's only 19 bucks, so it's not that much. And that being said, it is a great figure for that price point. The sculpt is nice. For the most part, everything looks really good. The paint is clean. Articulation is not the best but i mean hey like i said it's 20 bucks don't expect marvel legends now i will say that these guys are constantly getting better i saw some of the first faces terrible but this does not look that bad i know a lot of people don't like the faces on these guys but you can't look at that and tell me you don't know that it's gohan especially compared to some of the old dragon ball z figures we have so i'm perfectly fine with that this figure is not a keeper for me, but I'm pretty sure anyone that buys it for whatever reason is going to like it. So that's my take on this guy. I hope you guys enjoy this review. If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That always helps me out. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more content. I got more reviews coming. And of course, follow me on everything you see listed in the description below. And as always, Animated Heroes out. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.